Army of the Air. Arcane Infinity here. Yes, we're on PC Building Simulator. We're in free build. Now, the reason we're here, well, a, a friend of mine, uh, Kid Charisma, I saw on his channel, he built his PC, and I was like, you know what, that's actually a pretty good idea. You know, it would be nice if everyone actually could build their own PC and actually be able to show it, because, you know, you can't really go to everyone's house nowadays, but this is actually a pretty nice way of showing your build. Now, I don't know if this thing has uh, everything I have. We will find out. So, I definitely do not have it in ZXT. Now, I'm guessing this is somewhat like... Um, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And I, I've played a lot of that. So, let's see. Well, we'll start with a case. Now... I have an old thermal tech case, so let's see if we can get a old thermal. There we go, and uh, it's not really in here. No, um, it's not a giant one. I would say it's a mid-size. We're gonna see if this works here. Okay, mid-size. So we need to take off the the case panel. Yes. Oh, and there's one more screw. Here we go. I'm forgetting something. Oh, one at the bottom here. All right. Um, well, these trays are still in mine. It does not have a front case fed. Wait, does it? Let me look over here. Yeah, there is. I, I guess I don't. Oh, you're running. Definitely no pass-throughs. There's a fan there. Okay, so I guess the next thing we need to do is get a motherboard. Okay, we know for sure it's an ASRock Phantom X570. And so they don't have any X570s in here. We will have to go with... You know, I believe this may be the one that's closest to mine. X470, we'll, we'll go with that motherboard. Sorry, it was a bit silent. When the game first turned on, the music was obnoxiously loud. I had to turn it down to save my ears. All right, we're going to pick our PC. I mean, our CPU. Pardon me. Let's see where we're at here. I do believe it's. Um, it should be down here. 30. No, there it is. 38XT. Uh, drop it in. Pull down the pin. There we go. Now, I do believe we need to put some... Um, you're going to apply some dental paste there. All right. And there we go with our CPU cooler. Now it's a cooler master, a regular old cooler master. There it is, the Hypermaster 212. Huh. I actually have it in there. We'll, we'll, we'll do it that way. Yeah. Now where are the... Oh, okay. I just got to automatically install it. Okay. Um, let's go with our graphics card. Well, actually, before we do that, Oh, I'll take that off. Um, well, it's it's definitely. Oh, I don't know if fire cooters are in here. Let's let's just type in fire cooter. No. Mm. Well, the SSDs. Okay. M. Twos. Yeah, it's definitely M. 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 V. M. E. They call it. Oh. I got two one terabytes attached to the motherboard here, and uh, yeah, so the Fire Cuda 520 would be the ones that I'm looking for, but I don't think this game has them in here. 
you know they're regular SSDs so we may end up mm, well look let's let's put some M dot in some yeah here yeah and there's two of them wait is there another slot on the yeah there's no right there because it should be they're, they're both one terabyte each so a thousand gigabytes so I guess we'll go with them two Kingston's to make sure they match okay is it no that's oh no that's not I guess it only has one we'll have to just not be able to put the the second SSD in that you know in VMV we can't my mother word has two right there. Or it has three actually. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, I can't do it with the ah. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna have to take this off. Unless Yep, we gotta take this off just to put that on there. Now we gotta take that off. Now we can go back here. Kingston? There we go. Ha ha ha. Just like in real PC building, all you'd have to do is be persistent and you will definitely get things installed properly. Don't rush, don't force things, and it'll get in. You'll, you'll get it done. All it takes is a bit of knowledge, a little gumption, and, 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 and definitely investigation. You know, definitely search out your parts, do extensive detailed research on it before you actually pay for them, buy them, and try to install them. Now, see if you can see a video of someone actually installing the part that you actually want to get. That will definitely help you out there. Graphics card. So, I'll just type in 3080 and see if it shows up. Oh, yeah, it does. Hey, actually, yeah, that's it right there. They so tough, 38. Mm-hmm. It's this is off the, the core the core clock is crazy on this thing out of the box, to tell you the truth. Now you you want to know a weird thing? Everybody, get this. My thermal tech case is actually too small for the 3080. It is way too small for, for the tough edition I have. So on mine, this little part here, which which, which would have a, a whole bay and everything, I had to take all of that out, put this in here, then put that stuff back in there because it kind of was structural integrity kind of for the case. It's an old thermal tape case. Yeah, it's. I I, I opted to get myself a, a Blu-ray drive because I was like I was always gonna need disc, and I have a whole bunch of discs from back in the day, you know, CDs and all that stuff. So if I ever want to put actual CD music that I own digitally instead of actually we have to rebuy it out to put a CD in and convert it to digitally so that's one of the reasons why people would have a CD drive is if you still have CDs and everything so storage well that's actually well I do have one more SSD actually and that's that's a two terabyte it's it's actually from the old build it's all that the old computer was holding on to and it's a Samsung so let's Okay. The music's pretty chill though. I like that. I guess we'd go with one of these Kingstons or something like that. To in place of the Samsung was it 980 or 950 or something like that? It's one everyone's had. If you if you're getting a two terabyte SSD like in this form factor. It's definitely the one everyone has. So let's see. I guess this is the two people going with the Kingston one. Do I have a spot for it? Let's no. There has to be a two. Okay. We'll come back to that. First, let's, let's open up this case more.
There we go. Now we can see a bit better. All right. Need the two terabyte Kingston. And let's go back here. I do believe that's all we do it there. Now we need this power supply. And, uh, well, we have 850 watt. Yeah. I believe it's a EVGA 850G. We'll see if it's in here. Scrolling down the menus. No, it's not a Nova. It is an 850. Um, would that be the only? Oh no, wait, it's no. It's no. Well, look, they're probably only going to have just that one. Yeah. It's not going to be any other 850s like that. So we'll go with the the Nova 822T. Now I'm a crazy person because actually I keep my case open because I want maximum airflow. And since no one's gonna see it, I really don't care. I just keep it open so I can definitely keep it going. Um, let's see, what are we missing here? I guess we'll go with uh, cables. I mean, all the cables are regular cables. pretty good it looks like and let's see power supply is that the, yep gotta connect that there need our front panel connections oh come on front panel connections more case fans and funny thing I only have two case fans working on my system actually to tell you the truth because I don't have a fan connector and all that other good stuff Daisy chain, nice. What do we have over here? Oh, the power supply. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, plug the graphics card in. That would roughly work. And yeah, I'm guessing. And it's funny because now, now I can actually understand uh, car mechanic simulator. A little bit better now being someone that has built put together like uh, I would say about at this day seven or eight computers it, it's, it's it's pretty no brain thinking on this this is pretty actually cool it's, it's, a, it's really cool you know and I think that would just about be it that's a uh, well, yeah, let's cabling done. That's this. Yeah, the post. Now, in mine, the fans don't have any lights on them. Just this one has a light here. And is it just me, or is it off? Oh, just the symbols off center. All right. No RAM. Oh, oh, I did forget the RAM, didn't I? Ah, oh, crap. I am so stupid. Oh my god. Well, we got 64 gigs of Corsair LPX. I don't think they're Dominators. No, are they Dominators? I don't think they'll have the LPXs in here. Plus, mine's are, I, I suited mine specifically for my motherboard. I looked up on the motherboard site and just went down the list to find the fastest with the maximum capacity and all that stuff. And tailored them to them. So, I guess we, well, my last system had Vengeance in them, you know. So, um, I guess we have to go with um, yeah, four sixteen gig sticks. If we, if we got them, I don't even know if this motherboard supports four. Well, look, we'll go with the Dominators. Thirty-two. That's the round. The yeah. I got DDR4. Oh, got to bring the pins down here. Cool 
And personally, I really don't like doing this on, on, on these things on here. Well, people are like, it's not that tough. Yeah, yeah, well, when you got big, big dumb thumbs, you can d just about break everything you touch. So you, 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 I don't like fiddling with really small things. It's really, uh oh, oh. Wait, what's going on here? All right, now that's in. Oh, wait, do I have to do that for each one? Oh, wow, I do. I thought it would, would just automatically know I'm, I'm install, installing RAM, so it would just. All right, no, 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 before you do that, because this is how I actually do it. I, I actually would install all of them first, then clip them down. I know Linus might not agree with that, but Linus didn't build my PC. Wait, did it clip them down automatically? It, oh wow, I didn't know it would do that. Okay. All right, we're gonna give it power. See what happens. Oh, oh yeah, duh, duh, duh. Why was I thinking? Um, so it was in software. Mm. Oh, all right. You know, it's funny. I didn't have to go through this process. I usually, you know, had a. Except for this upgrade, yeah. But I bought a complete new, new what you call it. I got Windows 10 for the first time with this upgrade. I had Windows 7 for like four upgrades. Okay, looks like we're running. We're up and running. Um, that kind of looks like it. Yeah. Tell you the truth, with this case thing still here, with all the empty drives, that it all died on me. All my mechanical drives died on me. I had a four terabyte and two two terabyte drives, and they all died on me, taking with so much stuff that I thought my channel was going to be nothing because I now had no more elements, no more <sighs> programs. I, I believe it or not, everyone. I lost my uh, my only copy of Photoshop. Bought and paid for a code Photoshop. Gone. After Effects gone. And and since they were on disc, and I don't have the disc anymore. Now I, I'm 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 working with HitFilm and and GIMP, and I'm teaching myself how to use these programs at the same time. So it kind of sucks. But yeah, that that's kind of my PC, except for um, the the case is not so nice looking. And the, the 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 panels are always off. The panels are always off on it. But yeah, that's that's it right there. I sort of speak, not really, but kinda. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Drop a like and hit the subscribe if you want. And uh, it, definitely go over and check out Kit, Kit Charisma. Check out his channel and check out this video. I'll put a link in the description to his video so you can see his build. And then you can compare the two. I was telling we should probably compare our builds, and and well, you know, we'll go from there and see if we can get a couple of people like Cloud and all our other build their own PC. Other than that, you guys take it easy. I'll talk to you later. Be good.